All right, once the doors are mounted and the hood is put on, the gaps have to be all checked and the next process is starting to put the pin striping on. The pin striping is going to be the outline of the stripes we're going to be putting on it. Once all the green tape is put on, you can see the outlines of our drawing now on the side of the truck. Once the truck is in the paint booth, the next step is to, is to paper it all off. This is a very time consuming part of it. Uh, the engine, the back of the frame, everything has to be covered up to make sure no overspray gets on it. Now after those parts are done, the next step is papering off the inside of the hood for no overspray. Everything gets covered off. Once the hood is put back in place, they're going to be going up along the paint, making sure that they've got all the dirt, all the dust off it. After that is done, it's back to taping and paper, putting paper on. The outlines of the truck of the colors will be the only thing that'll be exposed by the time they're done. Now this is the part where they start taping off all the parts that are going to be left white. There, as Spike looks on to make sure they're doing the proper job. Well, you see we got the metallic going? Oh yeah, it looks good. Okay. So that's going to be close to yours. I'm freaking close, sorry. <laughs> um, that'll be close to yours. That's close to the frame blue. So, yeah. And then this is your motor blue. We got it. Like I say, it's, we put a little heavier metallic. We did a little test first of how much it's going to go in. Oh yeah, it looks good. You know, like it's... Those two colors are gonna look awesome together with the silver. Yeah. And then the silver, I think he, I don't know if he's got it mixed yet. I think he might not, because it's just a standard color. Yeah. So he'll just mix it and uh Bring on. see. No roll from there. But the silver, the silver's even a nice bright silver that'll go with them and it'll look awesome. Yeah, I like your back too. That's what I was gonna mention to you back and even even if it would have went lower, yeah. but that's cool. Well, there's only so much you can do to be lower there. For, see, the right about what we do with the fender, yeah. if you had it too low, then you're going to take away from this. Yeah. And then you get into the roots, and you're into another part. Door yeah. Yeah. yeah, the door handle. Yeah. And our line. Oh, it's, it's going to look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I always like that paint scheme. What are you going to do, Billy, when I leave here tonight? You'll call me. I'll see how far we are. You call me when you go home. That'll let me do the math in my head about how early we can be here. Four or five o'clock, okay? Mathematics. Mathematics, yeah. yeah. So, that'll let me know that, you know, give it six, seven hours and then we can be here to unmask it. Who do you hear at midnight, Billy? Eh? Who do you hear at midnight? The black. The black's going to be the big Yeah. But then the clears it with the block, after the block? Yeah, the block, yeah. These, the car clear drives a lot better yeah, than uh, the way you have there, so we'll be alright. But we'll get them all wound up now, we got them this far. If it's midnight, that means it'll only be seven? Yeah. Seven hours, it's quite a bit with that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Usually half a day here in the booth, especially yeah. in the booth. Half a day we can move yeah. it out and go wherever we got to Wash it. Just hopefully it's not raining, but if it is, we'll be... We'll be okay. Can't put plastic on it, that's the only thing. No plastic yeah, you can't, on you it. Can't 
Here we go with the uh, papering off the white. Um, by the time he's done, the white that's going to stay white will be all covered up. It's probably very difficult to figure out what this is going to look like and how it's going to look. But if you could envision that the color white is underneath all the paper right now. Here we go with the first color and it's silver. The silver is going to be put on, it's going to dry, and once it's dry, it's going to be taped and paper over top of that color. Then the second color will be put on top of it. The silver, he's still working on the silver. As you can see, he's just filling in everything that it's nice and level and evenly put on. Now with the small blower he's helping it dry. Now with the silver being dried the next step is to follow the tape that's underneath the silver and he's going to carefully put tape over top of the color that he wants to keep it silver. Okay, once it's all taped off, the next color to go on is the light blue. Okay, once it's all taped off, the next color to go on is the light blue. As you can see, the tape that's covering the silver is being painted right over top. The next step is to cover up the light blue stripe that we want to keep. Once it's covered up, the next color goes on. That'll be the dark blue. Now he's just given the dark blue a little bit of a help to dry. Once it's dried, the next step is pulling off all the tape and paper over the colors. With a two-part paint, this is a normal look, having this matted color. There doesn't seem to be any shine in it, but this is how this paint lays out. This next step after this is to clear coat it.